unit cell characteristics remember that in the last lecture we studied bavis lattices and seven crystal systems out of seven crystal systems cubic crystal system is simplest one and hence we are going to study only cubic crystal system and from the cubic crystal systems we are going to study monoatomic crystals monoatomic crystals means atomic basis is one atom per lattice point and also we are going to study diatomic crystals both from cubic crystal system diatomic means atomic basis is two two atoms per lattice point let us first talk about the monoatomic crystals let us consider this is the diagram of monoatomic cubic crystals and this is simple cubic let us see how to characterize a particular unit cell to characterize particular unit cell the first term is we have to find effective number of atoms per unit cell the first characteristic is effective number of atoms per unit cell now look at this diagram and consider this atom which is at the center in this diagram there are eight unit cells are shown and to that eight unit cell this atom which i circle here is common as you can see this is the first unit cell second third and fourth and similarly four are at bottom so this is the fifth one sixth seven and eight like that there are eight unit cells and this atom is shared by this eight unit cell so every corner atom in the unit cell is shared by eight other unit cells so its contribution to any particular unit cell is 1 by 8 and since there are eight corner atoms so into 8 so that is equals to 1 so this way we have to find effective atoms per unit cell effective number of atoms per unit cell that is one of the characteristics the second characteristics of the unit cell is coordination number you have to find coordination number and coordination number is nothing but number of equidistant nearest neighbors number of equidistant nearest neighbors called coordination number and generally it is denoted by triple n the first n means number of equidistant second n is nearest and third n is neighbors so number of equidistant nearest neighbors called coordination number now in the diagram in this particular diagram again consider the same atom so let us because it is at the center we are considering this atom now nearest neighbors to this atoms are this one which is at distance a if this is a cubic crystal system then this one this one 
and this one. All four are at resistance A. That is the age of the unit cell. So in the same plane, there are four nearest neighbors and immediately above it, there is another atom at distance A and below this, there is atom at a distance A. So four in the same plane, one above and one below. All these six neighbors are at equidistance and their distance is A. Remember that I said that we are first studying monoatomic crystals. So whatever circles are here, they are atoms, not lattice points. They are atoms because every lattice point is associated with one atom. Lattice points are imaginary. Their position is taken by an atom in case of monoatomic crystals. So that is the second characteristics. Then the third characteristics is you have to find atomic radius. To find atomic radius, first we have to find out where the atoms will touch each other and then you have to find atomic radius R in terms of that is constant A. Okay, we have to find R in terms of lattice constant A. That is the third characteristic. Then the fourth characteristic is we have to find the lattice constant. Lattice constant for cubic crystal system is A. And we have to find A in terms of R, atomic radius. So that is our fourth characteristics of the unit cell. Then the fifth one is packing factor. Packing factor gives us a fraction of space occupied by atoms in the unit cell. What fraction of atoms in the unit cell what fraction of volume in the unit cell occupied by atoms and its definition is it is nothing but ratio of volume of effective number of atoms in the unit cell volume of effective number of atoms in unit cell divided by volume of unit cell. So it gives us fraction of volume occupied by atoms. in unit cell. Okay, that is the packing factor which is equals to volume of effective number of atoms in the unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell. For example, in case of simple cubic monoatomic crystal, effective atoms per unit cell in this case is 1. So volume of one atom divided by volume of unit cell, volume of unit cell is a cube for the crystal cubic crystal system and it gives fraction of volume occupied by atoms in the unit cell and packing efficiency packing efficiency is equals to packing factor into 100 so you can find the packing efficiency what percentage of volume is occupied by atoms and what percentage of volume of the unit cell is wide. That you can find by packing factor and packing efficiency. Then 
the last characteristic is density sixth characteristic is density you know that density is equals to mass upon volume we are finding here the density of the unit cell so mass is mass of unit cell and volume is nothing but volume of unit cell that would be the density of unit cell density is denoted by rho so we have to find rho density now to find mass of the unit cell uh, see the density of the unit cell or density of the bulk materials density doesn't change with the amount of material so if you find density of the unit cell that would be the density of your bulk material now to find the density first we have to find mass of unit cell to find the mass of unit cell let's say small n is equals to number of effective atoms in unit cell for simple cubic it is 1 and let us say capital m is atomic weight or molecular weight and you know that n a n suffix a is avogadro's number n a is have a quarter's number then if this is the case then mass of unit cell is nothing but n into m divided by have a quarter's number so that would be the mass then volume of unit cell volume of unit cell this is a cubic system so it is a cube volume of cube is a cube a is the side of that cube then density rho is equals to n into m upon n a have i got this number into a cube or if you want to find lattice constant then a is equals to n into m divided by rho into n and bracket raised to one third by this formula this formula is very important to solve the numericals from this formula you can find lattice constant you can find what type of bevis lattice it is whether it is a simple cubic body center cubic or face center cubic by finding n you can find the type of bevis lattice you can also find molecular or atomic weight you can also find density of that material so all these factors we can find using this formula so this formula is important for solving the problems